Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this one, we're going to be building an awesome little mobile follow focus wireless monitor combination that is really handy to have if you're out and about shooting with a friend or if you're on your own and let's say you're conducting an interview or if you're a YouTuber, you can essentially sit down with this thing, have the camera pointed at you, focus it up, see what your exposure is like and you're good to go. I'm really excited about this one because I think the implementation is pretty awesome once you actually use it. So let's go through all the parts needed and put this puppy together. The first thing you're going to need is a wireless follow focus system. I'm going to be recommending the incredible Tilta Nucleus Nano. So here's the actual hand controller. And then on the camera, I already have mounted the little baby motor. That'll set you back about 230 bucks. It's really not beatable at this point. It's incredible how well this system works. Next up, we're going to need a way to monitor our camera remotely. Now you could get a big honking wireless system, but recently I've been playing a lot with this guy and I love it. It is the Axoon Cine Eye, and essentially this is going to connect to our camera and wirelessly over a five gigahertz network, transmit video to our phone. I've been using this for quite some time now and it works great. So that's 250 bucks, sometimes cheaper, depending on where you pick it up. Comes with all the cables needed, has a built-in battery and a lot of features that we'll be getting to in a little bit. And to mount all this together, we have a couple other pieces of hardware. First, we have the quick release that works with our Tilta Nucleus Nano. From there, we need something that we can use to mount our phone. So I have a really nice phone mount here to kind of connect everything together. We have a cheese 15 millimeter rod. So it's a simple 15 millimeter rod with all of these tapped holes, as you can see, that's gonna be great for mounting everything together. We also have a 15 millimeter rod clamp, a 15 millimeter handle. This one is leather, but you can get really affordable ones for, I don't know, 20 bucks or so. An optional item is going to be this. It's a simple Andy Cine uh, little friction mount that will allow us to kind of tilt our phone very easily and uh, give us lots of flexibility. Finally, we are going to need this, which is a small uh, little cold shoe mount, which will allow us to mount our phone. So now let's put all this together. The first thing you're going to do is take your 15 millimeter rod and right around the middle, you're going to thread on your cold shoe mount using the included screws that come with it. On one end, I'd recommend the left side. We're going to add our 15 millimeter rod clamp that has these quarter 20s tapped into the side. And once that's attached, we can take the quick release that comes with the Tilda Nucleus Nano and mount it onto the cheese plate. Next, we're going to add our handle on the left side, you can either choke it up kind of toward the center or have it all the way on the end. From there, we can take the phone mount and either directly attach it to our cold shoe on this whole setup or use the monitor mount with the phone holder for a nice, smooth, easy to modify phone mount. Last but not least, we can take our Cine Eye and mount it to our camera hook up the HDMI cable and power it up. Once completed, you should have something that looks similar to this. At this point, I'm going to take my Tilta controller. I'll go ahead and mount it to the side here, lock it in place, and now we're ready to rock and roll. We can add our phone just like that, snug it up. And since we have that friction mount, we can very easily modify you know, where our phone is kind of set up there. One other sweet feature is you can rotate the handle around like you see here, and then you have a really slick little setup where you could just set your phone down on the table and still operate your focus remotely. At this point, we're ready to power up our Cine Eye. So I'm gonna spin my Blackmagic 6K around here. We'll go ahead and fire up both the camera as well as the Cine Eye. On startup, it's going to blink just like that. And once the logo is solid, we're ready to connect on our phone. Once everything's powered up, I can go ahead and connect to the network on my phone, very straightforward, go to the application and connect. And we're connected. I can press the on or power button. And as you can see, we have everything ready to rock and roll. And now that everything's connected and I have all the devices powered on, I'm going to press the calibrate button on the Tilta to make sure that it's working with my lens here. There it goes, spinning. And at this point, we're ready to rock and roll. So I'm gonna go ahead and focus up on the logo of this Panasonic S1. I'm actually gonna stop down this camera just a little bit. And now we can talk about this awesome application. So 
you'll notice at the bottom of the screen, we have a whole bunch of icons. I can tap in the middle of the screen to get a nice clean image. And this would be a great setup for just running around pulling focus. Another cool feature, I'll tap the middle of the screen again, is that we have focus on here. So I can actually turn on peaking. So I'm going to go with the color green and we have the peaking level. So you can see I can make it really intense. I'm gonna calm it down, something like that. And now, I mean, this is so easy to just run around with this little setup and get my focus. I'll tap the middle of the screen again. I'll turn off peaking. We also have things like gray. We have RGB, so you can kind of play around with those and maybe calibrate your iPhone screen. We also have false color, which I love having. So on the left side of the screen, you'll notice that we have a bunch of colors that's representing the different levels on an IRE scale. So at the very top, we have red, then we work our way down all the way to that deep purple. So I can grab the iris or aperture of my lens here, start making changes, and as you can see, we can see our exposure. So I love that, and it's really great to have that for any camera. We also have a histogram that you can move around, and finally, with zebras, so we can actually set our zebra level, and it goes really low, which uh, most cameras don't have. So if you like to check and meter at, you know, 40 IRE, you can do that, which you can't do on most cameras, which is pretty slick. And finally, we have LUT support. I don't currently have any LUTs installed here, but you can add them to your phone, get them in the app, and be able to turn them on and off, which is phenomenal for log you know, profiles. Finally, we can tap the More button on the far right, and there's a ton more to do in this app. We can turn a center marker on and off, uh, safe markers, ratio markers. So I'll go ahead and do a nice uh, two, three, five to one which is pretty slick. You can change the colors of all of your markers and the width or thickness of those markers. Finally, you can do things like zoom in and out, change the scale. So if you're doing any anamorphic, you can totally do that. And the transparencies, if you wanna completely black out your bars, you can do so very easily. You can also change your Wi-Fi password, Wi-Fi channel, I just leave it to auto, color range, and something in Asian that I can't read. So that is an overview of using this amazing little device. I think for 250 bucks, it's kind of a steal. There's also a ton of other features that I'll put on screen. One of the cool ones I didn't mention is that you can actually connect to this with several devices at once. So I could be running around, you know, pulling focus on this thing with this setup, my operator could be obviously operating and we could have a director's iPad or something like that in a different room or on set somewhere else. So a lot of flexibility all from this little device that has a built-in battery that lasts a long time and sits at the top of your camera. So at the end of the day for under 600 bucks, around 550, I think a setup like this is phenomenal uh, if you work in a small team or if you're on your own and let's say you're conducting an interview or if you're a YouTuber, you can essentially sit down with this thing, have the camera pointed at you, focus it up, see what your exposure is like and you're good to go. So that is how you can build a tiny mobile little focusing and monitoring solution whether you're out and about on set shooting, you know, indie films, or if you're a YouTuber who just wants, you know, a nice little cinematic setup where you can monitor it yourself and adjust your focus. If you wanna learn more, check out the links in the description where I'll link to everything that we talked about. Those will be affiliated, so just a heads up. And if you enjoy this content, wanna learn more about your camera and filmmaking and making videos in general, check out my guides over at academy.dslrvideoshooter.com. That's going to wrap this one up, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.